ahead. The North Park Vikings looking to extend a three-game winning streak. One of those will come to an end here tonight. Welcome in to our broadcast tonight on AM 1050 WLIP and on the live.carthage.edu video stream. John Weiser with you. Glad you're along tonight for exciting Carthage Lady Red basketball. The Reds at 8-8 eight and eight on the season, 3-4 and four in conference play. North Park Vikings in a tie for first place. They're sitting at 6-1 and one in uh, first place along with Illinois Wesleyan. Vikings at 13-3 and three overall. So we're looking forward to this matchup here this evening. Jayla Johnson is the leading scorer for this North Park team. She's averaging better than 15 points per game. She is going to be the uh, standout for this team coming into the game here tonight. So we need to see that here to this evening. And then we've also got a little change in the Carthage lineup tonight as we will see uh, uh, a change in that one as uh, Lauren Herman will get a start tonight for the Lady Reds and they'll bring Maggie Berrigan off the bench this evening. So those are the couple of lineup stories here tonight. Johnson, who is I think going to be in the running for player of the year in the conference, has had an outstanding season. She's shooting 51% from the field. She is uh, the team's leading rebounder at 6.3 per game and she is averaging over 15 points CIW games that goes up dramatically she's at 18 points a game almost 10 boards per ball game while still shooting better than 50 percent from the field so she will be a load in the middle tonight for this North Park team can the Lady Reds contain them we'll see a little bit of zone defense tonight from the Lady Reds as they try and defend that try and force this North Park team to the perimeter I think the game plan here tonight is to make them shoot the ball from outside they really have only one three-point threat and that would be uh, the uh, Sophomore out of Chicago Taft High School, Emily Chuhayevsky. Chuhayevsky is averaging better than 48% from three-point range. She is making almost four three-pointers per game. So she will need to be stopped here tonight as well. It'll be the Lady Reds and North Park tonight. First meeting of these two teams this season and the last game going through the first round of conference play. The next eight games, the second round coming up following uh, this game here tonight. Carthage has won six straight in this series, and they lead the all-time series 61-20 over the Vikings. So looking forward to that in the Reds' favor here this evening as well. Tim Bernero will get his thoughts on tonight's ballgame when we come back to the Tarbell Arena after this on AM 1050 WLIP. Welcome back to the Tarbell Arena as we get set for women's basketball tonight. It's the Carthage Lady Reds and North Park Vikings. Joined now by Lady Redhead basketball coach Tim Bernero. And uh, last game here through the first half of the uh, conference season. So got to believe not just the next one, but it's a big one here tonight. Yeah, it's, as far as preparation, it's the last time you have to go from scratch. I mean, next time Saturday we'll have something with us on tape against the, the eight teams on the second time through. But, yeah, I mean, North Park's played very well. I mean, they're 6-1 and one in the league. They've won close games. They're, they're a tough team. They're good quickness. They guard well. You know, so we're going to have to play well to, to, to win, and we need this game. Jayla Johnson is their leading scorer, leading player. She's probably a candidate for Outstanding Player of the Year in this league. So she's going to be the, the focal point, I believe, of your game here tonight. Yeah, I mean, she's a tough guard most of the time because she's 
she's strong and she's an undersized post that can go away from the basket. She's not a three-point shooter, but she, she moves around and does stuff off the dribble that you can't just put a big body on her and play her man-to-man, -man, so you have to do some other things to, to try to slow her down. We The first time we played here last, last year, we really slowed her down and did a good job staying disciplined and forcing her to stuff she didn't like. She got a little bit going in the game down there, but we were able to win both games, so we're hoping we can do slow her down and take care of some of their other people that, that can hurt you. Now talking with you a little bit before, possibly playing a little bit more zone tonight in that instance to try and take that away? Yeah, possibly. I mean, you know, the way they play, they like to attack the basket. So, you know, the the pack line sort of mentality defensively in basketball would be really, would serve us well tonight. So we've got to make sure that if we're man-to-man -man and they're driving it, we don't let it in the lane. If, if they're zone, we're, we've got more we've got more people in front of them, so it's harder for them to drive it to the lane. So yeah, we still got to move your feet and stay in front of them. And they do have one dynamic three-point shooter, but if we can keep them, you know, keep them from getting to the free throw line and making layups, our chances go up a bunch. A little bit of a lineup change here tonight. Lauren Herman going to see uh, action as a starter tonight. You know, yeah, I mean, we were looking at that because of how they're, they, they matched up. They were missing one of their big kids the last couple games. So now, that, you know, it looks like she might be back just by watching the teams warm up. But we were going to do that and try to see if, you know, we're going to match up to their small. Now, if they go back big, we may we may flip that later on. But but right now, you know, I think Lauren, Lauren did a good job, probably earned you know, deserved more minutes on Saturday. Made her, she made the shots she took. She got some rebounds. She's been productive that way. You know, she, we get, she's getting more comfortable with more minutes. So I think she's earned them, and, and I think we're going to give them to her. Play at a little bit more relaxed pace. I thought, uh, particularly in the fourth quarter Saturday, maybe pressing a little, trying to find five and six point shots rather than try and run a good, clean look to the basket. And that's the thing. That, you know, offense has to be physical. And it, it's either got to be physical by the pace you're moving at or physical with the screening and the and the, the post up and the cutting you do so it, you know we weren't that we kind of and you know Milliken was a overplay deny team this team I, I tried to impress on the kids North Park leads the league in turnovers forced in seven conference games more than Wesleyan and they very rarely come out of the half court to guard you so they're active they're quick they've got good hands so we have to take care of the basketball and we have to you know, get it to get it to somebody that can score, or get it to the next station, so that we can continue to run our offense at the pace we need to. Keys for a win here tonight. You know, both teams are bad rebounding teams. You know, eighth and ninth in the league, so that'll be an interesting tell. You know, who controls that, or you know, gets an advantage there, because it's not one trying to fight off the other. But if they get to the free throw line a lot, we're probably in trouble. I mean, so that, that's a t that's a tell, because they're not, as a group, a great perimeter shooting team. So we want to reduce them to the perimeter sh perimeter shot. And then our offensive end, we've got to work for good shots. Sometimes you can get good shots for Autumn and for Sammy by finding shots for other people and making the defense question how much they want to load up on them. And I think, like you said, John, the other night we, we got a little excited trying to get them all back one on two, one on three. Sometimes when you draw traffic, if you kick it to somebody, let's give, I think we got a chance that we got some people that are ready to step up and make those shots. Take advantage of home cooking here. Only two losses here at home. Like to get a win here tonight. Roll into that weekend game with a little bit of a momentum. Yeah, last, like you said, last game in the first round. We need it. We need a good game here. Go get them. Thank you, John. Head basketball coach Tim Bernero joining us in our pregame tonight as the Carthage Lady Reds get set to host the North Park Vikings. First meeting of the season between these two schools. I'll be back with starting lineups and tip off of tonight's game right after this break on AM 1050 WLIP.
Starting lineups in for our game here tonight. For North Park, they will start Sinead Malloy at a guard, 5'9", junior out of Chicago Trinity, averaging just under six points per game. Jackie Rapp making her ninth appearance of the season, her ninth start as well. Rapp, a 5'7", sophomore guard out of DeKalb, Illinois. Zakia Newsom will start at a guard, a 5'4", junior out of Glendale Heights, Illinois, averaging better than seven points per game. Alicia Pantier will get a start at center, making her first start of the season for the Vikings. 5'10", senior out of Elgin. And Jayla Johnson, the team's leading scorer and leading rebounder. Johnson coming in averaging 15 points, six rebounds. The 5'8", sophomore out of Wheaton. Amanda Crockett in her 12th season as head coach of the North Park Vikings. Let's head downstairs for the Carthage introductions. Franksville, Wisconsin, number four, Sammy Woodward. At guard, a 5'7 sophomore from Hampshire High School in Hampshire, Illinois, number 20, Lauren Herman. At forward, a six-foot sophomore from Tramper High School, hailing from Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, number 34, Kelsey Kassan. At guard, a 5'9 junior from Grays Lake Central High School in Grays Lake, Illinois, number 12, Amanda Larson. And at guard, a 5'8 senior from New Trier High School, hailing from Wilmette, Illinois, number 22, Autumn Kalis. The head coach for the Lady Reds is Tim Bernero. Coach Bernero is assisted by Casey Kleiner and graduate assistant coach Bailey Gilbert. So we're just about set for the first meeting of the season between these two schools. First place resting North Park, tied in first with Illinois Wesleyan coming into the game here tonight, both at 6-1. and one. And the Carthage Lady Reds trying to fight their way through a log jam uh, from third through seventh, only one game separating those five teams. North Park in the navy blue jerseys, navy blue shorts, gold lettering, gold numerals. Lady Reds in the home whites tonight, white jerseys, white shorts, red numerals, and red lettering. Mentioned the Reds swept the season series last year from this Viking team. They've won six in a row. Last uh, Viking win in this series occurred here at the Tarbell Arena back on January 27th, 2016, a 59-57 victory here at the Tarbell Arena. Pantier will jump center against Cochon for the Lady Reds, and it's Cochon who wins the opening tip. Reds will bring it up left to right here in this first half. Four 10-minute quarters, four team fouls per team, Fifth team foul in each quarter will get you to the free throw line, and those will reset at the beginning of each quarter. From the top of the circle, the three-pointer by Sammy Woodward goes down, and we are underway here in Kenosha. Three-pointer from Woodward. Need to get her going again. She'd been battling an illness. Carthage opens up in a 2-1-2 zone look here. So they work the perimeter. Around the near side, it goes to Malloy. Inside, it goes off the left block. Pantier's shot no good, and the rebound pulled out of there by the Lady Reds. So Carthage opening up in a 2-1-2 look. Meanwhile, the Vikings man-to-man -man here. Autumn Kalis, inside it goes to Kashan. Turn around at the left block, forces it up, couldn't hit. Rebound loose, picked up by Pantier on the left block. Back come the Vikings the other way. Newsom with it. Now they work it inside. Johnson, turnaround shot in the paint, rattles off, no good. The rebound, Amanda Larson. Neither team very strong at rebounding. Matter of fact, both teams in the bottom of the league as far as total rebounds per game. So that might be the interesting stat, as you heard Tim Bernero mention, as a little one-hand runner up the right side by Woodward goes down. She has all five Lady Red points. It's 5-0 Carthage. We're a minute and a half in. Malloy now back up top. Newsom. Reversing it back to Malloy from the perimeter. Left side three is an air ball miss. Woodward will screen out Rapp. It'll go out of bounds to Carthage. So North Park now 0 for their first three, 0 for 1 at the arc. 
Out rebounded three to one here early on. Five nothing Lady Reds. Larson high on the right wing. Takes the dribble across the top of the circle. Now changes direction. Leaves it out for Woodward for three. Off the rim, no good. The rebound pulled in by Pantier. Down quickly to Malloy. They try and beat him back in transition. Malloy got the layup but missed as it fell off the rim and the rebound taken by Autumn Kalis. That's where they're going to try and get the Lady Reds tonight, I think, in transition. Keep an eye on those fast break points tonight. Larson from the free throw line swings it left side to Kalis. Deep three off the left wing. That one barely drew iron. Rebound underneath Lauren Herman. Trying to go back up left. She's double teamed. Nowhere to go with it. And gets a three second violation. Good job by Herman. Got in there on the offensive board, but it was immediately double teamed by Jayla Johnson and Pantier. Really had no place to go with both feet in the lane and turned it over on the three second violation. Emily Chuhayevsky will step in now for North Park. Chuhayevsky, a 5'6 sophomore out of Taft High School. As they work it inside, and Pantier able to finish off the feed from Jayla Johnson. A little too much dribbled penetration that time in the middle of that zone. That was set up by Pantier. 5-2, Lady Reds. Woodward now, top of the circle. Swings it off right side to Herman. Herman back up top to Woodward. Well, that's Kalis to cut back to the left. We'll set a ball screen now from Kashan. Gets it back out to Larson with the dribble below the free throw line. Back to the right wing. It goes to Woodward for three. Got it. Sammy Woodward, red hot to start our ball game, has all eight Lady Red points. 8-2 Carthage. Woodward now. Two for three at the arc. Three for four on the night. Johnson from the free throw line goes down. Jayla Johnson. Nice look that time. Nice soft left-handed touch out of the 5'8 sophomore to Wheaton Warrenville South. Cuts the lead in half. 8-4 Carthage. Under six and a half to play first quarter. Kalis now high on the right wing. Takes the dribble below the arc. Works off the screen from Herman. Will shoot it up. Missing. And the rebound Pantier and was fouled by Koshan as she got tangled up with Jayla Johnson inside. Kelsey Koshan with the foul. First team foul on the Lady Reds as Pantier will come out. Josie Somerville will check in now. Somerville, the six-foot center, the sophomore out of Georgia for North Park. Averaging six points, five rebounds per contest. Now they swing it off to Rapp, driving in off the left block. Lost control of the dribble, picked it back up and walked. No, wait, we got a foul. Well, it looked like she traveled with it as Kalis turned an ankle. She comes up a bit gimpy here. The foul will go on Carthage. Kalis that time with the foul. I think she may have landed on the defender's ankle, but she is limping her way back to the Carthage sideline. Boy, that would be a blow here to the Lady Reds losing Kalis for any extended length. She's going to walk it off as we'll get a substitution here. It'll be Destiny Antoine, the 5'9 freshman out of Madison, Illinois. So we'll keep an eye as... Kalis gets tended to by the Carthage Athletic Training Staff. 8-4 Lady Reds, North Park with the ball. On the drive, they try and dump it inside to Johnson. Rolls out of bounds. Johnson the last to touch as she battled Antoine that time down low on the left block. So it'll go as a turnover for North Park. Their first. Woodward brings it up. Swings it off on the right wing. Up top to Kashan. Now left side Herman. Lauren Herman to Amanda Larson, driving down the right side, going up and draws the foul. Chuayevsky that time was the defender on Larson, and she got a step on her, took her right to the rim, and was able to draw the foul. First team foul on North Park. This will put Larson at the free throw line, shooting a pair. Larson's free throw up and good, and has played well here of late. Five and a half points per game, but over the last three games, averaging in double figures. That's what she brings on the defensive end that really helps this Lady Red team out. It's both free throws for her first two points tonight. Builds out a six-point lead. 10-4 Reds approaching five and a half minutes to go here in this first quarter. Johnson back out to the perimeter. Wrap for three. Back iron miss. Ball tipped back out. Back into the hands of Johnson. Top of the circle. Knocks it down. Jayla Johnson, not bashful. She's going to get her shots, and she put that one up almost immediately on the tap out that time. 
to the top of the circle. 10-6 Reds. Larson with it high on the right. Gets a ball screen from Kashan. Driving to the paint now. Puts it up with the left hand high off the glass. No. Rebound tipped to Kashan. Spins her way out of traffic. Puts it up short. Rebound loose in the corner and it goes out of bounds. Off of Kashan. It will be North Park basketball. Angelina Velasen will check in now. The 5'3 senior out of Arlington Heights and Harper Community College. Maggie Berrigan will check in for Kelsey Kashan for the Lady Reds. Berrigan battling through an ankle injury a couple of weeks ago against Augustana. 10-6 Reds. They've led from the get-go here under five minutes to play first quarter. Chuyevsky kicks it around to the perimeter and the three up and in for Angelina Velasen. Velasen looking good on that one. 11 for 33 now, shooting the three ball, 34%. Cuts it to one, 10-9 as the Reds set it up. Amanda Larson up top to Herman for three. That one won't fall. Battle inside for the loose ball. There was three blue-shirted Vikings, but then they throw it away. Somerville got the rebound and was trying to outlet to one of the guards and just overled and threw it out of bounds to the near sideline. Break here for Carthage as the Lady Reds will inbound from the near sideline. Woodward now working the slow dribble. Drifts off to the left wing. Guarded by Newsom. Now back up top to Antoine. Around the right side to Larson. We got a whistle away from the play. Berrigan trying to come up high from the low post. Got bumped off. I believe Somerville with the foul. Oh, check that. It's going to go on Velassen. Her first Team fouls even now at two apiece here in this first quarter. Carthage will inbound right of the basket. Shot clock reset to 20. They get it into Herman. Off the inbound will fire the three and hits. Got it right in rhythm that time on the inbound feed. Got it right in a spot where she could just turn and shoot and Herman able to drill. Now three for her last three going back to the game on Saturday. Three ball up by Velasquez, no good. Antoine with the rebound for Carthage. Four-point Red, Lady Red lead here with 3.49 to play first quarter. Larson with it now. Trying to work her way around Chuhayevsky. Now they get it to Woodward. Her defender fell down. Woodward for three, missing. Destiny Antoine with the offensive board. Kicks it back out to Woodward. Steps around the defender. Now fires inside the arc and hits left side. Little shoulder fake that time, and Chuhayevsky fell for it. That opened up a clean spot from 17. And Woodward able to knock it down. And we have our first timeout taken by North Park. A 30-second timeout. 3.27 to go here in the first quarter. Reds leading 15-9. Carthage now 5 for 13 from the field, 38%. 3 of 8 at the arc. North Park 4 for 10, 40%. Just 1 for 4 at the arc. Our game tonight is brought to you in part by Triangle Flooring Furniture and Appliance Center. They're located on Highway 50 at 39th Avenue in Kenosha. And by the Westosha Sports Complex, Zero to Hero Conditioning. Visit them online at westoshasportscomplex.com. Reds back home Saturday night. 5 o'clock tip against Wheaton College. That'll be the start of the second round of conference play. Big ball game here. Hope to see you out here in person. That's your next opportunity for Lady Reds basketball this coming Saturday, 5 o'clock against the Wheaton Thunder. North Park with the ball. Carthage going man here now. As they fire up the three taken by Chuhayevsky, and we got a whistle on the three-point attempt. It's going to be North Park ball out of bounds. And who is the foul on here? Mark Rapinski. It's going to go on Amanda Larson. That's the third team foul on the Lady Reds. It happened away from the play inside as Chuhayevsky was getting that shot away. Vikings will get it in. Chuhayevsky now. Lost Larson again. Now bounce feed inside to Pantier. Will bank it off the glass and in. Pantier returning, replacing Somerville following that timeout. Able to get the basket. She has four. The deficit is four. 15-11 Reds under three minutes to go here in the quarter. Berrigan now works it off to Antoine, to Herman. Back up top to Larson. Larson coming down the right side. Hard shot that time going away from the basket. Airmailed it that time. Rebound inside taken by North Park. Get it across to Chuyevsky. Back over to Velasen. 
Got around Destiny Antoine, fires up the shot, air ball miss, Herman underneath. Scoops it away for the Lady Reds. Two and a half to go, first quarter, 15-11, Lady Reds. They've led from the start. Woodward works the dribble right side, up top to Antoine. Looking for a cutter, now puts it on the floor, leaves it for Larson right wing. And Larson swings to the top, shot clock down to 10. Larson again on the penetration, again going off the side of the backboard that time as she was trying to get past Chuhayevsky. Back the other way. On the drive, this is Newsom, and we got a whistle and foul. It's going to go on Herman. Lauren Herman picking up the foul that time on the drive. That's her first, fourth team foul. And Amanda, Autumn Kalis back in now for the Lady Reds, replacing Amanda Larson. That's a good sign there. Kalis had left the ball game with what looked like an ankle injury, got it taped up, and she's back in there now for Carthage. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter, four-point lead. Lauren Elba Garner in there now for North Park as the shot by Johnson right of the free throw line won't go down and Kalis clears out the rebound. Gets it to Herman, just inside the arc right wing, pops it up, no, battle for the rebound, Johnson in front of Berrigan able to take it away. Now Elba Garner with it. Between the circles, working the dribble to the right side, guarded by Woodward. They loop it down to Pantier, back inside looking for Johnson back door, and we got a whistle and a foul. Lauren Herman picking up her second foul. As that ball went inside, she was trying to get back and cover Jayla Johnson, and as she did, reached across her arm to commit the foul. This will put Johnson on the free throw line as this is the fifth team foul on the Lady Reds. So two shots here for Johnson. Drops in the first. Johnson, her big night was this past Saturday against Augustana, 26 points, a season best for Jayla Johnson. Second free throw up and in as well. Cuts it to two, 15-13, Carthage. 125 to play here in this first quarter. Kalish now swings it off to Woodward. Woodward takes the dribble between the circles, back to Larson on the left wing. Now over to Woodward again, right side, puts it on the floor. We got a whistle and a foul. Lauren Alba Garner that time committing the foul with the reach. Third team foul on North Park. Reset shot clock to 20, 112 to go as Carthage will inbound. Kalis over the top, gets it to Destiny Antoine hands it off to Woodward. Woodward now to Larson, high on the right. To the left side, Woodward. Back to Larson, shot clock down to six, under a minute to play in the quarter as Kalis now going up, drew the foul, couldn't get it to fall as it ran the drain but wouldn't circle down. They'll put Kalis on the line, shooting two. Zakia Newsom committing that foul. That's her first, fourth team foul, and Kalis on the line. Autumn knocks down the first. Kalis, one of the leading scorers in the conference, coming into play just under 18 per game. In conference play, point total has gone up, averaging just under 21 per contest. Nails both free throws here, bump the lead back to four. 17-13, 50 seconds to go in the quarter. They work it back up, Newsom to Elba Garner, back inside Johnson, working on Berrigan, threw it away. Good job inside defensively by Berrigan, forcing Johnson to give up that ball and turned into a turnover. Third turn by North Park here in the quarter. 40 seconds to play, Carthage up by four. Kalis takes the dribble to the left side. Gets it to Destiny Antoine, reversing around right side now through Berrigan to Larson. Now up top to Woodward. Guarded by Elba Garner. Woodward now with shot clock down to 10. Nice lob feed to Kalis. Blew the layup driving in left side. Larson with a nice job there. Led Kalis perfectly to the basket. Just simply missed the shot. Final 12 seconds here. North Park will play it for one. Elba Garner works it off near wing to Newsom. Back over for the three by Chuhayevsky. Missing. Kalis tracks down the loose ball. And that will end our first quarter. 
Carthage on top after one. It's the Lady Red 17, North Park 13. We'll step out for a 60 break. This is Carthage Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050 WLIP. Lady Red basketball tonight brought to you in part by Something Different, a sports fan fantasy land on 6th Avenue in downtown Kenosha, by Berkshire Hathaway Epic Real Estate, and by the Sinus and Snoring MD, that's Dr. Swerdlin, with offices on Green Bay Road in Kenosha. Either team lighting it up here, 17-13 Reds after one. Carthage 5 for 17, 29%, just 3 of 8 at the arc. Meanwhile, for North Park, 5 for 14, 35%, 1 for 5 at the arc as Kalis gets a steal. Up top, we'll take it to the basket and lay it in. Autumn Kalis with four points. On the steal and break the other way. 19-13 Reds and we got a travel. Turnover by Jackie Rapp as she tried to come to a stop on the left, high on the left side. Shuffled the feet and turned it over. As the four make that the fifth turnover by North Park. Now some token pressure here in the backcourt. Carthage able to break it. Three on two the other way here for Larson. Pulls it back out to Kalis. Kalis on the drive, top of the circle. Kalis, Antoine, Woodward, Larson, and Cushon in there. Pass inside, low post Cushon going up for the shot. Partially blocked. And it's taken away by Sine Malloy. Malloy down the floor. Works it off left side. Gets a return pass from Patterson. Now the ball loose on the floor. They dive for it. Woodward trying to go for it. It's pulled out of there by Miller. Now back around the near side to Patterson. Inside Jayla Johnson going up strong low left and lays it up and in over Amanda Larson. It's a tough shot there. She was almost too deep underneath the basket but still got the favorable kiss off the glass and a little carom off the rim. 19-15. Reds lead by four. They've led the entire way so far. Woodward now works it off to Antoine. Back inside to Cushon, going strong to the basket, draws the foul. Working on Jackie Rapp that time, who commits the foul. Cushon with a nice movement down the left side of the lane. He will take it right to the rack and draws the foul. First team foul on, uh, on the Vikings, first personal foul on Jackie Rapp. This will be Cushon at the free throw line for the Lady Reds. Free throw up and in for Kelsey Cushon now, averaging just under 20 minutes per game. 7.8 points, 5 rebounds. Development of Cushon this year has been in increments here. She has really started to take in What's going on? The game is coming to her, as they like to say. First two points coming to the free throw line, 21-15. Rap with it now, high on the right. Inside Johnson, back door underneath. Two deep penetration by Esther Miller. Able to lay it up and in. Miller, the 5'9 freshman out of Sullivan. And that's going to get Tim Bernero to call a timeout here. Second time that Amanda Larson has lost Jayla Johnson underneath. And I think that's what's hurting a or what is driving Timber Nero's focus in that huddle right now is you got to recognize where that ball is going right now. So timeout, Carthage. 8.17 to go here in this second quarter. The Redmen are on the road tonight. They're in Chicago to take on the Vikings from North Park. 
That game underway and North Park leading Carthage 33-24 with three minutes to go in the first half down there. The Vikings 0-7 in conference play. Redmond not exactly lighting it up. 45% shooting, just two of seven from the arc. Have not got to the free throw line yet. They're getting out rebounded 15-11 in that contest and they trail 33-27. Red's able to break the full court pressure here. Woodward, Larson, Antoine, Kalis, and Cachon out there for Carthage. Ball screen from Cachon. Kalis driving in the paint. Hangs. Missing. Ball loose inside. Taken away by Esther Miller. Back come the Vikings. They'll push it up. Rap coming down the left side. Cut off by Larson. Back inside it goes Johnson. Blocked by Cachon. And Destiny Antoine able to come away with it. Who was foul? Good job by Cachon. Got a block on Johnson that time. Esther Miller commits the foul, her first. Second team foul. Again, Carthage getting pressure in the backcourt here. They're going to try and trap the ball here, and Carthage able to break it easily. And Larson now across midcourt will stop and set it up. Swings it off right side, Kalis. Loops it back to Destiny Antoine. Back to Kalis in the right corner. Late whistle, travel on, Ant on Destiny Antoine. I think there was a little indecision on her part when she got that original pass from Kalis, whether or not she was going to shoot, put it on the floor, or pass it back to Kalis. And just that little hesitation caused her to take a step into the shot without releasing the ball, and she turns it over on the travel. Just the second turnover by the Reds tonight. 21-17 Carthage, 7.20 to go in the half. Rapp now in the near wing. Back up top. Patterson back to Rapp. Inside Johnson, back out. Shot taken by Kayla Patterson, and it goes down. Patterson for the triple. And it's a one-point game. Carthage leading by one. Kayla Patterson not known for that three-point shooting. Just one for six coming in. Now two for seven on the season. Kayla's out near the center circle. Right side it goes, Woodward. Turning, facing the basket, now puts it on the floor. Leaves it for Destiny Antoine. Tried to force it back inside. Pass was blocked out of bounds by Esther Miller. Carthage ball, seven to shoot as Lauren Herman will check in, replacing Amanda Larson for the Lady Reds. Herman will trigger the inbound. Near side, gets it into Kalis with five to shoot. Kalis now gets a ball screen from Kashan, shoots over it, off the front of the rim, won't fall. The rebound inside pulled in by Johnson and the foul by Lauren Herman. That's her third. So Herman just gets back into the ball game, comes in and commits her third foul, will have to exit. Amanda Larson back in. 21-20, North Park trailing by one, looking for their first lead on this possession. Carthage led by as many as six, 21-15. A five-nothing run, they get it inside to Johnson, blocked by Destiny Antoine, they come away with it. Nicely done by the freshman Antoine on Jayla Johnson. Second time they've been able to block a Johnson shot. Now back the other way, Woodward on the run up in the paint, draws the foul. Jackie Rapp getting called for the foul. Hitting Woodward that time. Second foul on Rapp. Third team foul for the Vikings. Zakia Newsom checking back in. Replacing Rapp. They get it in quickly. Woodward shooting off the run that time out of the left corner. Won't fall. Miller there with the rebound for North Park. 14-12 advantage on the glass. Destiny Antoine again able to stop the penetration. What do we have? Ball hitting the underneath the backboard that time, and therefore Carthage will take over here. It'll go as a turnover. That shot hitting the behind the backboard that time. So get it into Woodward. Now back to Larson. Again, some full court pressure here. Red's able to break it. Larson going to try to go coast to coast. Had the ball knocked out of her hands by Johnson. Carthage ball, 20 on the shot clock for the Lady Reds. 
Over on the men's side, North Park has opened up a 10-point lead on the Redmond, 37-27 late in the first half. Back the other way, Miller to Malloy. She'll overlay, rebound Johnson, goes back up and hits low left. Johnson on the offensive board and the stick back, 10 points in the first half for Jayla Johnson. First lead of the game for North Park, 22-21, as Kashawn had it, lost it, turns it over underneath. As Maggie Berrigan will check in now, and she will replace Kelsey Kashawn. Well, the Redmen getting creamed right now, 40-29 at the half. North Park, their third straight game that they will have a halftime lead in, and it's on the Redmen expense tonight. Meanwhile, back here at the Tarbell Arena, North Park has come on a nice little run here, and they finish low right again. This time it is Ky Kayla Patterson with the finish. She has five points. It is a 9-0 run here by North Park, and they lead it 24-21. Into the corner, it's Samantha Woodward driving and couldn't get it to fall, but drew the foul. Woodward will go to the line to shoot a pair. 9-0 run here by North Park, and they've taken the three-point lead. First foul on Johnson tonight. Fourth team foul. Sammy Woodward at the line will shoot a pair here for Carthage. Second leading scorer on the team, Woodward, averaging 14 points. Missed one game last week Wednesday because of the flu bug. Ninety-four percent from the line this season is Woodward. Hits them both there, pulls their team to within one. Ends the scoring drought here for Carthage. On nearly five minutes without a point in this 9-2 run now by North Park. Now stepping around the defender, Garner will put it up and in. Garner from just inside the arc, able to knock it down. An 11-2 run here by North Park. They lead it 26-23, 4.15 to play here in this first half. Larson taking the dribble around the left side. Now gets a ball screen from Berrigan. Gives it back to Kalis. On the drive, circled, had the ball knocked away by Johnson. It's loose in the paint, taken away by North Park. Johnson knocked it away. It was Patterson who came away with it. Now Patterson with it, works it around the perimeter. Back over to Elba Garner. Back over to Patterson for three, knocks it down. Timeout, Lady Reds. 14 to two run, and it's a 29-23 advantage here for the North Park Vikings with a timeout taken by Carthage. We will keep it here, 350 to play. North Park seven for 11 now in this second quarter. Two for two at the arc for the game. 12 for 25, 48%. Meanwhile, for the Lady Reds, 1 for 5 here in this second quarter, 0 for 2 at the arc. For the game, 6 of 22, 3 of 10 at the arc. Woodward with 12 to lead the way for the Lady Reds. Johnson with 10. Patterson with 8, who's now perfect, 3 for 3 from the field, and 2 for 2 at the arc. Our game tonight brought to you in part by Mason's Eatery and Pub on Highway 50 west of Green Bay Road, Kenosha. By Building Waters, Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. That's what they do, and don't forget refrigeration too. And by Francetic Tax Resolution. Don't get frantic, get Francetic. Go to 262tax.com. Redmond trailing at the half down in Chicago to North Park. 40-29 in favor of the Vikings. Vikings shoot 50% in that first half, and five for eight shooting the three ball. Kudrowski just two for 10 for Carthage. Redmond just barely 40% shooting, so a cold start to that one. Can ill afford to go down to North Park tonight. If you have any hopes of making the conference tournament, that's a, a must win for the Redmen. Now on the dribble drive, Larson fouled from behind. Kayla Patterson trying to go for the steal. That's the fifth team foul, so we head to the free throw line for two free throws now. So for every foul committed by North Park for the remainder of this second quarter, Carthage will get two free throws. Well, 
Larson's free throw up and in. Amanda Larson tonight, three for three now at the line, has five points. One more up, and it curls around and in for Larson as both Kashan and Patterson fall over each other. Check that Berrigan and North Park player. Looks like everybody's okay. Twenty-nine, twenty-five. Reds down four. Led by as many as six. Trailed by as many as six here in this second quarter. A fourteen to four run. Turn things around here. Now Johnson on the drive, going up over Berrigan, missing the shot. Berrigan able to get the rebound. Originally got bumped on that play. No foul was called, and as she followed through. Berrigan was able to screen her out. Snare the rebound. Now the Reds need to go to work here. Destiny Antoine with it, top of the circle. Gets it back out to Larson, driving in from the right side. Larson going high off the glass of the right hand. No. Tap out by Berrigan is, won't go. As trying to flag it down that time was Miller. Now they get it back over to Elba Garner. Back over to the near side it goes. Patterson for three. Won't fall. Woodward clears the rebound. 2.45 to play here in the first half. 29-25 North Park. Now Woodward over Berrigan on the ball screen. That curls off. Nobody home for the rebound. Now on the drive. Johnson gets it down the floor. Elba Garner cut off now by Destiny Antoine. Gets it back up top to Patterson. Back around to Newsom. Now to Johnson right of the free throw line. Return pass to Newsom. She'll fire the three in and out. Rebound Berrigan. She'll clear it off to Kalis. 2.10 to go here. Carthage down four. Kalis across midcourt. Looking right. Finds Woodward on the right wing. Sammy takes it back up top. Around the left side. Back to Kalis. Ball screen by Antoine. Kalis driving around that screen. They're going to call the offensive foul on Autumn Kalis. Taking the charge that time was Zakia Newsom. And so they get the offensive foul on Kalis. Her first, make it her second tonight. 29-25 North Park. Carthage has yet to hit a field goal in this second quarter. 9.39 mark was the last one they've had. Only one for seven here in this second quarter as they get the defensive board here. Kalis now will work it off right side to Larson. Larson takes the dribble back up top, works it right side now, Sammy Woodward. Back over to Larson, alone for the three, will fire it up, no good. Berrigan with a tap out, Larson pokes it free. Now Kalis will pick it up, 120 to play, Carthage down four. And to Larson, top of the circle, swings it back right side Woodward, now low post it goes Berrigan. Head and shoulder fake, pops and hits over Josie Somerville. No easy task there, a pair of six-footers battling it out, and Berrigan got it up and over Somerville. Just the second field goal of this second quarter for the Lady Reds, 29-27, Vikings by two. Now they'll step into a three up top, back iron miss, Berrigan able to snare the rebound. 2017 advantage on the glass for Carthage with 38 seconds to go in the half. Carthage with a chance to tie or take the lead here. Berrigan around to Antoine. Left side it goes to Woodward. Guarded by Elba Garner. Now back up top to Larson. Larson being guarded by Chuhayevsky. Kalis now on the dribble. Back to Destiny Antoine with four, with three. Offensive foul. Destiny Antoine out of control with the dribble. Second time. In the last three possessions, Newsom able to take the charge. So to give the ball back to the Vikings, two-point lead, 17 seconds to play here in the half. Antoine just a little bit out of control on that dribble. I think she knew shot clock was going down. She was trying to create a little space so she could get a shot away. Now Elba Garner back up top to Patterson. Inside of Johnson, broken up. Johnson got it back, puts it up over Berrigan, missing as time expires here in this first half. But they 
North Park taking advantage of cold shooting here by Carthage. Battled back, went on a 14-2 run, and lead it here by a score of 29-27 at the break. We'll step out, take a 60-second break, or make that a two-minute timeout. We'll be back with the halftime numbers for you right after this. You are listening live and local to Carthage Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050 WLIP. Pay, making sure you're paying attention, Scott. You're paying attention, see? Thank you, sir. Lady Red Basketball tonight on AM 1050 WLIP, brought to you in part by Luigi's Pizzeria, two blocks south of Highway 50 on 39th Avenue in Kenosha. By Lynch Chevrolet of Kenosha, located just east of I-94 on Highway 50. And by Lou Perini's Gas and Grocery, home of Mama P's ho ho Cakes and Low Cash Prices for Gas, located on Sheridan Road and 52nd Street in Kenosha. John Weiser back with you at the Tarbell Arena. Turn of events here in this first half Carthage leading after one quarter 17-13 but then went cold in that second quarter they went nearly eight minutes without a field goal and in that process allowed North Park to go on a 14-2 run to claim a 29-25 advantage at one point and it was actually 29-23 I should say which turned a six-point deficit into a six-point lead, and that's where we stand here at the end of the first half, 29-27 in favor of the Vikings. Carthage in that second quarter went two for nine, 0 for four shooting the three ball, and yet made all six of their free throws. Matter of fact, the Lady Reds are 10 for 10 at the line so far. Meanwhile, North Park in that second quarter went seven of 16 and two of five in that uh, quarter on threes. As we take a look at the team numbers here through the first half, Again, the totals now for North Park, 12 for 30 in the field, 40%, just 3 of 10 at the arc. Meanwhile, the Lady Reds, an abysmal 7 of 26, shooting just 26%. 3 of 12 from the arc, 25%, and 10 for 10 at the line. Lady Reds out-rebounded the Vikings 20 to 17 and outscored them at the line by 8. Otherwise, this could be a double-digit deficit here had it not been for the free-throw shooting for the Reds in that first half. Leaders in that first half, Sammy Woodward with 12 to lead the way for the Lady Reds. Woodward was 4 of 8 from the field, including a pair of 3-pointers. She was also 2 of 2 at the line for her 12 points. She is game-high honor right now for the Lady Reds. She has 12 for either team. Amanda Larson with 6, 1 for 7 from the field was Larson. 
including 0 for 1 at the arc, but she's 4 for 4 at the line. Larson with six points. Three points for Lauren Herman. Herman picked up her third foul very early in the second quarter and did not return. Herman, one for three from the field. That was a three-pointer. She also has a couple of rebounds to her credit so far tonight. But the other story is Autumn Kalis tonight, limited to just two points coming from the free throw line. Kalis 0 for 5, 0 for 3 at the arc. Now, she did get injured early in that first half, very early in the first quarter, maybe the first three minutes or so. Uh, committed a foul, and as she landed uh, on someone's ankle, turned her left ankle in the process, so she was out for a little while getting that taped, and she has since come back and has gone 0 for 5 so far, which is two points. Kelsey Kashan with two points. Maggie Berrigan with two points for the Lady Reds. Meanwhile, for North Park tonight, they're getting Jayla Johnson involved. Ten points so far for their leading score. Coming in, averaging better than 15 a game. Johnson now at 10, 4 of 10 from the field, 2 for 2 at the line. She also has 6 rebounds and 4 assists tonight, leading in those categories as well. She is the only player in double figures for North Park. Kayla Patterson with 8. Patterson coming off the bench, red hot, 3 for 4 shooting, 2 for 3 at the arc. Meanwhile, uh, it was Pantier with 4. Pantier going two for three from the field. Three points for Velassen, one for three. That was a three-pointer. And then two points each for Alba Garner and for Esther Miller. Rebounding, as I mentioned, Carthage out rebounding the Vikings 20 to 17 in that first half. Make that 21 to 17. And four offensive boards for the Lady Reds. 17 total rebounds for North Park, two on the offensive end, both by Jayla Johnson. Carthage getting four assists, two blocks and one steal. They did turn it over seven times. Meanwhile, for North Park, nine assists, five turnovers, no blocks, and two steals. Second chance points, even at four apiece. North Park points in the paint. 12-2 advantage over the Lady Reds and those seven Lady Red turnovers leading to 12 Viking points. Meanwhile, for Carthage, they get to seven points off of the five turns committed by North Park. Lead changed hands only once, and that was early in the second quarter. Went from 21-20 to 23-21, part of a 14-2 run. That put North Park in front by as many as six in the second quarter, outscoring the Lady Reds 16 to 10, and the Vikings hold that two-point lead here at the half. Men's basketball going on down in Chicago. Redmen and the Vikings playing each other at North Park. It's 42-33. Redmen down by nine in that contest early in the second half. Carthage shot just 40% in that ball game in that first half as a leading scorer for the Redmen is Brad Perry with 10, and leading scorer for the Vikings, Isaiah Sanders with 12 off the bench for the Vikings. So it's 42-33 North Park, just underway second half down in Chicago. Other women's games tonight in conference play, Illinois Wesleyan leading Wheaton at the half, 26-21 first time through for both of those teams tonight. That's the other first place team in Illinois Wesleyan. It is North Central leading Augustana 33-30. That game also at the half. And also halftime score it is Elmhurst on top of Milliken 34-23 down in Decatur tonight. So somewhat a surprising score there as Elmhurst bringing up the rear in the CCIW and women's play coming in tonight at 1-6, and, and they are taking it to Milliken in Decatur tonight, 34-23 at the half. Standings coming into play here tonight. You had Illinois Wesleyan and North Park each at 6-1. and one. Then you had Milliken and Wheaton each at 4-3. and three. Carthage and Augustana and North Central all at 3-4. and four. Carroll on the bye. They've played their first half of conference play at 2-6. and six. Then you have Elmhurst at 1-6. and six. It'll be Carthage and Wheaton here in the Tarbell Arena on Saturday, part of a doubleheader here at the Tarbell Arena. They'll get underway at 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon with the Lady Reds to be followed at approximately 7 o'clock by the Redmen and Thunder. 
Big rematch between both schools on both sides here as Carthage trying to get back into the chase here for the conference title on the women's side. And again, just a couple of games out. And again, the top six make the conference tournament again this season. So right now, Carthage would be a five seed uh, pending results of tonight's action. So Lady Reds need to get back in, in the groove here. What's interesting is you take a look at regional play throughout this central region and really nobody running away with things on the regional level. Uh, Oshkosh at nine and seven, a team that's typically been very, very good on the women's side here over the last couple of years. Uh, Washington University down in St. Louis, typically a dominant team in the region. They're at, I think, nine and seven on the season so far as well. And then you have Wisconsin Lutheran College to our north part of the region, just 10 and six overall. So as you take a look at things here now from a women's side of things from this conference, it's looking more and more like this league may be only a one-bid league when you look at things right now. Illinois Wesleyan at 12 and four overall played at a very tough schedule of regional ranked opponents. Of course, Whitewater also in that mix as well, but uh, you look at it, and uh, Illinois Wesleyan has played them all. Wash U, they've played University of Chicago, they've played Whitewater, they've played DePauw. So they've played a very, very tough schedule here. Whereas North Park at 6-1 and one in the league, 13-3, and three, really hasn't played as tough a schedule when you look at some of the uh, regionally ranked opponents. Yeah, they've played Hope, and they've played uh, uh, Loris College, a couple of teams that have been ranked in the top 20 so far this year, but... Uh, they lost both of those games. They were defeated 62-45 in a home game against Hope back on December 18th. And then they lost at Loris as part of the Loris Holiday Tournament down in Dubuque, 97-67, the loss to Loris in that one. So really, outside of those two teams, they have not played what you would say a stellar non-conference schedule. So that's not, I don't think, going to be enough to get them in at an at-large so it's going to have to be the AQ, the automatic qualifier on the women's side, that's probably going to take one team in. So you're kind of at that point where five, six losses overall takes you out of that running for an at-large bid in the NCAA Division III tournament. 29-27, Reds trail by two here at the half. Both teams back up and warming up. We'll take a 60 break. Back with the start of second half play from the Tarbell Arena Right after this, you are listening to Carthage Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050 WLIP. <laughs> Carthage Lady Red Basketball brought to you tonight by Wingstop of Kenosha, located on Highway 50. By SJ Crystals Menswear for the finest of men's fashions. It's clearly SJ Crystals on 6th Avenue in downtown Kenosha. And by the Vigiano Insurance Agency. Give Steve a call. He'll shop for your insurance needs. Lady Reds need to get back on track here to start this second half. They've got to get their shooting eye back. A very poor shooting night so far. Only 29% from the field. Just 3 for 13 in that second quarter. Meanwhile, defensively, Lady Reds have to do a better job inside. They cannot let Jayla Johnson get those good looks that she has had so far in this contest as uh, Lady Reds need to work at that here in this second half. Johnson with 4 of 11 shooting so far. Need to keep her off her spot, keep her moving around, but they'll do that in some foul trouble. Lauren Herman with three personal fouls. 
Looks like she will start this third quarter in the lineup for the Lady Reds. It'll be Kalis, Larson, Woodward, Herman, and Koshan on the floor for the Lady Reds. Carthage ball to begin this second half. They'll work it right to left as we view it here. High atop the beautiful Tarbell Arena. For North Park, it'll be Malloy, Johnson, Pantier, Newsom, and Rapp. Carthage will bring it up right to left. We're underway, second half. Carthage down two, 29-27. We get a whistle away from the ball and moving screen violation on Sammy Woodward. Not the way you drew that up at halftime, I'm sure. Start this with a foul and Woodward picks up her first. Vikings will bring it up left to right to be their first possession. Carthage back in a 2-3 zone. Now Malloy works it off to Pantier on the left side, guarded nicely by Kashan. Back to Malloy who turns it over. Larson on the steal. Pass went back to Malloy and her legs, and Larson was able to get the loose ball. Now Kayla sets it up top of the circle. Swings it off right side to Woodward. Inside it goes Kashan backing down the right block. Turning over Pantier. Couldn't hit. Malloy able to dig out the rebound in front of Larson. Good look that time. It's just a little too strong with the shot by Kashan. Now Johnson in the paint. Driving. Darts to the basket and lays it in. That's what you cannot have. Cannot allow that penetration. 12 points now for Jayla Johnson. Carthage down four here. Trailed by as many as six in that second quarter after leading by as many as six. 14-2 run. Kalis for three off the right side. That won't fall. Johnson with the rebound. She'll clear it out on the run. Johnson down quickly to get it off to Newsom. She'll drive the basket up and in. Zakia Newsom. That's her first. And in transition once again, dribble penetration attacking the basket. Lead back out to six for North Park. 33-27. Coach Bernero really talked about that. Did not want those easy baskets. There's an easy one for the Lady Reds and a nice loop feed down low to Kashan, who's able to finish. Kelsey Kashan with four points. Deficit is four, 33-29. Wrap with it, right wing into Johnson at the free throw line. Back out it goes. Newsom for three. Got it. Zakia Newsom. Bombing away from the top of the circle. Reds broke out of the zone, went man, and Newsom left free up top. Knocks it down, 36-29. Largest lead of the game at 7 for the Vikings. 7.45 to play, third quarter. Herman now works it off to Larson high on the right. Up top to Woodward, walk with the basketball. She does that from time to time. The old crow hop before putting it on the floor. Turns it over. First turnover for the Lady Reds here tonight in this second half, the eighth of the game. Reds yet. Oh, I got it reset, my bad. Three for three North Park here in this third quarter. All three easy looks. There's another one inside to Johnson, drives the basket, pulls up on Larson, puts it in off the rim and down. It could have been a walk there on Johnson. They didn't call it. Kind of stumbled her way below the free throw line. Got away with a foot shuffle. But she's got 14, and it's a nine-point North Park lead. And the Reds without Maddie Kelber, without Haley R. tonight once again. Both out with injuries. And now Woodward trying to do too much. Turns it over. Back the other way comes Johnson. She walked with the ball. Come on, Mark. Makes the call there. My goodness. Coming down the left side, she caught that pass, took like four steps before she put it on the floor. Turnover gives it back to the Lady Reds. Kalis across midcourt, held scoreless here tonight. Kalis 0 for 4 from the arc, excuse me, 1 for 7 tonight with four points. Larson for three. That one won't fall. Kashan with the offensive board. The stick back low left goes down for Kelsey Kashan. 38-31 Vikings. Reds back to within seven here with six and a half to go third quarter. Now Malloy 
Works it off to Pantier, right wing, back up top to Newsom. Bounce feed it goes to Johnson, turns, shoots over Larson, in and out no good, Larson with the rebound. She'll take the dribble out, gives it off to Kalis. Kalis will walk it across midcourt from right to left. Now takes the dribble near side, up top to Herman. Right side Woodward. Woodward high on the right. Pass broken up by Malloy out of bounds. Stepped in front of Larson that time to knock it away. Emily Chuhayevsky, Chuhai get it right, Chuhayevsky in there now for North Park. It's a mouthful. She spells that last name C-Z-U-H-A-J-E-W-S-K-I. It's a 40-point word score in Scrabble. Now the steal the other way by North Park. Gets it back up top. Newsom for three. In and out, no good. Boy, that ball was halfway down and popped out on Newsom. Kashawn able to get the rebound. Five and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Carthage down seven, 38-31. Herman high on the right. Nice give and go feed behind Woodward. They turn it over. Johnson on the steal. Outlets to Newsom. Newsom coming down the right side. Gets around Kalis and lays it up and in. Timeout, Carthage again. And the lead back to nine for North Park. Lady Reds down to two timeouts now for the remainder of the game. 5.20 to play here in this third quarter. And once again, the Vikings have built out a nine-point lead, 40-31. to 31. Our game tonight brought to you in part by Dickey's Barbecue Pit, I-94 and Highway 50 across from Woodman's. By Triangle Flooring Furniture and Appliance Center, Highway 50 at 39th Avenue in Kenosha. And by the Westosha Sports Complex, Zero to Hero Conditioning. Visit them online at westoshasportscomplex.com. Reds just 2 for 6. 0 for 3 at the arc here in this third quarter. For the game, shooting just 28% from the field. Just 3 for 15 at the arc, 20% at the arc. They've turned it over three times already here midway through this third quarter, and they trail by nine. Meanwhile, the Vikings four of five from the field, including a three-pointer here in this third quarter. Again, full-court pressure put on here, and the ball knocked away. Rapp knocking it away from Woodward. Carthage retains possession. Kalis, Larson, Woodward, Herman, and Berrigan out there now for Carthage. Woodward. Beats the double team across midcourt. Gets it to Larson. Loops it down low right side. Berrigan trying to go up low right and in. Caught that pass as he made contact inside with Johnson. Still able to gather it in and go up for that shot. Reds back to within seven. Back to man-to-man -to -man now. Wrap with it up top. On the drive. Kick out to Newsom. Now gives it back to, Rat or to Chuhayevsky. Now to Wrap on the left side. Driving past Woodward. Got an extra step in there. She tried to force it into Johnson. Broken up and taken away by Kalis. Across midcourt, Kalis will circle back high left side. Now back up top to Larson. Over to the right side, Herman. Now back to Woodward. Puts it on the floor. Drive, scoop, finger roll, wouldn't go. Rebound Jayla Johnson as Woodward hit the deck underneath. Now Malloy coming down the right side. Shoots it up over Ber Berrigan and hits. Sinead Malloy, her first two points tonight. This one a jumper over Berrigan from the right baseline. And it is a 42-33 Viking lead. Woodward up top to Kalis. Around the near side to Berrigan. Give and go underneath now to Herman. Herman going up over Chuhayevsky, missing Chuhayevsky with the rebound. Well, you got to make those. That's what's hurt the Lady Reds here the last three ball games. Now Johnson in the paint. The short jumper goes down. Jayla Johnson with 16. 11-point lead, their largest of the game, 44-33. Reds with no answer tonight. Woodward high on the right side. Gives it off to Kalis. Kalis back to Berrigan. Now to Larson. Bounce feed to Woodward. Shot clock down to 10. Woodward spinning at the free throw line, pulls up there and hits. Beautiful move that time. Lost both defenders, Malloy and Johnson that time on that spin move. 14 tonight for Woodward. Deficit is 9 for the Lady Reds with 3.10 to play. Now on the drive, Malloy going hard to the basket. Count it and one. Beautiful move to the basket that time by Sinead Malloy. She just made up her mind she was going to take it to the rim, and she did, and able to draw the foul. Woodward with the foul, her second. 
Second team foul on the Lady Reds here in the third quarter. Somerville will check in now for the Vikings. Malloy on the line to complete the three-point play. Destiny Antoine checking in for the Reds as well. Malloy's free throw is on the way and good. She will come out. Angelina Velassen checking in. 12-point bulge now for North Park. 3.05 remaining. We're in the third quarter. Destiny Antoine lobs it underneath the Berrigan. Berrigan able to dribble out of traffic. Takes it back up top. Now to Herman for three. That one rattles off no good. Nobody home for the Lady Reds as Somerville clears the board. Down the floor quickly. They beat the Reds back in transition, and the layup goes down. Timeout, Carthage. They have one remaining. 49-35. Reds down here. Be another 30-second timeout. Reds down to one timeout remaining. Carthage has just not done anything right since midway through the second quarter. They've had trouble shooting the ball. They have trouble finding good shots, which is a credit to North Park. And they have no answer for North Park. Too easy getting two good looks to the basket. Vikings getting too much dribble penetration to the basket. And Reds unable to come up with any type of defense. They've tried a 2-1-2. Two, two, they've tried a 2-3. They've gone back to man. They have had no answer tonight for North Park. Other scores in the CCIW. North Central leading Augustana 36-33. Illinois Wesleyan leading Wheaton 46-40 late in the third quarter. Elmhurst continues to lead Milliken 42-32 down in Decatur. In Chicago, the Redmen have made it very interesting. They're down two now, 57-55 after trailing by as many as 11 in that ball game. They have come back, or as many as 13, they've come back to trim it to two, 57-55. Different story here. Reds have just not found their rhythm offensively, and it's led to other problems on the other side of the floor. Woodward for three. In and out, no good. Johnson with another rebound for North Park. Rebounds even now at 24 apiece. 2.25 to go, 49-35 North Park. On the drive, cut off there is Velassen. Give and go back to Johnson. She'll drive the basket, lay it up and in. Berrigan did not get over in time to slide down the block. And it's just a rout here tonight. 51-35 North Park. Kalis now to Herman in the right corner. Pulls it back out to Kalis. Autumn now driving the right side, cut off, nowhere to go, and now we got a hand check foul. Nicholsworth there on Zakia Newsom. As Bill Raftery would say. Nickel Diamond there. Second foul on Newsom. Kashawn in there now, catches the inbound pass, goes off the low left glass and in. He Johnson to the spot that time and laid it up and in. Eight points for Kashan. 51-37. Reds have gone six for 21 now since the second quarter. Chuhayevsky with it. Puts it on the floor on the dribble. Curls around right side. Shot blocked from behind. And we got an offensive foul as she Chuhayevsky finished off her drive. Plowed into Kashan, knocking her to the court. Team fouls even at two now with a minute 15 to go here in the third. Carthage chasing 14. Kalis up top to Berrigan. Tried to feed it into Kashan, knocked away from her. Herman went up with it on the deflection and drew the foul. It's going to go on Jayla Johnson, her second, third team foul, and Lauren Herman to the line for the first time tonight. First free throw attempt for the Lady Reds here in their second half. It'll be Herman for two. Free throw up and in for Lauren Herman. Got the start tonight over Maggie Berrigan. 
little change in look here for the Lady Reds. Again, they're without Haley R. Out with a leg and finger injury. Maddie Kelber set to undergo knee surgery next week as she missed the second the rebound by Somerville. 51-38, Reds down 13 under a minute to go. Driving the basket and drawing the foul is Velassen. And she will get to the line to shoot two. Herman picks up her fourth. Larson will check back in. Again, you're rather limited here for the Lady Reds and with the injuries, and then really it comes down to who do you trust out there? What do you got? Nancy Valev has had her moments. Diana Esther, you've had opportunities with her. Taylor Josefowitz. Again, where does, where does Tim Bernaro turn here? Makes both. Five points now for Velassen, 53-38. Reds down 15 with under a minute to go here in the third. <coughs> Kalis now in the near wing, gives it off to Berrigan. Right side now, Larson, back up top to Woodward. Sammy on the drive, spins on Velassen, goes up with it, missing. Ball tipped off Larson, back to Woodward. Larson, Woodward spins again, this time with a left-hand scoop shot. Off the glass and down for Sammy Woodward. 16 tonight for Sammy. 53-40, final 25 seconds here. They can play it for one. Shot clock and game clock, about a half second difference. Newsom with Kalis up on her. Gets a ball screen, penetrates, lost the dribble, now picked it back up, flips it back out. Chuhayevsky fires with three seconds, no. Rebound loose in the corner, Velasen picks it up. Her shot comes up short as our third quarter comes to an end. Reds were down two at the half. They'll be down 13 to start this fourth quarter when we come back. 53-40, North Park on top of Carthage. On your home for Lady Red Basketball, AM 1050, WLIP. Reds outscored 24-13 in that third quarter. They trail by 13, 53-40. As we begin the fourth quarter here in Kenosha, John Weiser with you, North Park. 14-2 run in the second quarter. They've led ever since. Took a six-point deficit into a six-point lead, and they've run away from the Lady Reds here. As the pass goes into Somerville, her shot blocked from behind by Amanda Larson. Goes out, and we got a foul on the ensuing scramble for the ball, it's gonna go on North Park. Josie Somerville picking up her first foul. Autumn Kalis limited just four points tonight, one for eight shooting. She'll fire a three, got it. Kalis from the top of the circle. Maybe this is a good omen here for this fourth quarter for the Lady Reds, they pulled it within 10. Seven on the night now for Kalis. Newsom working the dribble. Gives it off to Jayla Johnson. Free throw line jumper, good. Can't let her get that shot. 20 tonight for Johnson. She's just too good a player. 50% from the field now, eight of 16 for her 20 points. And they try and force it inside to Kashan and it's stolen away by Chuhayevsky. She'll bring it down to Sinead Malloy. Works it off near side, Newsom. 
Back up top, same spot. Johnson again, fires and misses. Rebound, Berrigan. Carthage will bring it down. First minute gone by here, fourth quarter. Carthage down 12. Cachon, top of the circle. Works it off right side to Larson. Nearly turned it over. Now to Woodward. Deep three by Sammy. Barely drew iron. Rebound, Johnson. See, again... This is what gets the Lady Reds in trouble. They try and to take six-point shots instead of looking for a good shot. Can't get back six at a time. That was well behind the NBA arc. Now Johnson on the penetration to the free throw line. Curls off no good. Boy, she's had a couple of good looks there. His last couple of sets, she just hasn't knocked him down. Under eight to play, down 12. Berrigan now feeds Kalis. Newsom guarding her, puts it on the floor now, trying to shake Newsom. Bumped off her spot, no foul called, then tried to force it into Kashan, and it was picked away by Johnson. Turnover Kalis. Johnson coming down the floor, traveled with it again. And she's done that twice tonight where she's caught the pass. It's been behind her and then just runs down the floor with it, like, almost like a quarterback throwing to a wide receiver with the ball on the back hip. Wrong sport. Tenth turnovers now, make it another turnover. Berrigan's pass back to Woodward, turned over to Malloy. Malloy to Newsom. Newsom around Kalis will lay it up and in. This is painful to watch. Reds with 13 turnovers tonight. Down 14. Can they work it inside to Berrigan? The pass was too high. Johnson with the steal, outlets to Malloy. Ball kicked away by Kashan out of bounds. And again, the Reds limited here. Only one timeout left. So I guess we'll play through this. Destiny Antoine in for Maggie Berrigan. 57-43 North Park. Seven minutes to go. Newsom with it. Swings it off to Chuhayevsky. Guarded by Woodward. Reversing it around left side now Malloy. Malloy on Larson. Pulled up on Larson, cross-court feed to Newsom, driving right side, past Kalis, back out for the three, short. Rebound, Kalis. Carthage out, rebounding North Park, 29-27, but haven't been able to muster much offensively since the second quarter. They have really struggled trying to find the basket. It doesn't help when you turn it over, as they nearly do here, Destiny Antoine, then has it taken away. We got a held ball. Possession arrow back to the Lady Reds here as Johnson ties up Destiny Antoine. North Park with a two point lead down in Chicago over the Redmen. 67 65. Two minutes to go in that ball game. Kalis, deep three over Destiny Antoine is an air ball miss, picked up underneath by Lauren Elba Garner. Again, there's that mentality of we're going to try and get eight points back on one shot. Not going to happen. Under six minutes to play, 57-43 Vikings. Inside it goes, looking for Pantier, broken up but a foul called on the Lady Reds. It's going to go on Destiny Antoine. And to go through the back of Pantier that time. Shot clock resets to 20 as Malloy will trigger the inbound for North Park. Gets it into Pantier. Now up to Newsom. Back to Malloy. Driving out of the right corner on Larson. Cut off. Back up top to Newsom. Now to Alba Garner. Gets a ball screen from Johnson. Right side it goes to Malloy. Malloy again on the drive. Larson right with her. Gets it back to Pantier. Traveled with it. Went up and down with the basketball that time as she tried to leave her feet. Turning it over. 12 turnovers now for North Park. Five and a half minutes to go. Carthage down 14. Gonna take a miracle here tonight to come back for this one. Larson on the drive. The run up low right. Lays it off the glass and in. Six points tonight for Amanda Larson. Getting the stops on the defensive end, but it doesn't help when you turn the ball over three turnovers here in this fourth quarter alone 15 on the night 
deep three, right side. That one came up short, ball out of bounds. Should be Carthage ball as Newsom fell to the floor as that ball ricocheted off of Kashawn and then went off of Newsom as she fell out of bounds. Five minutes to play, 12-point game. Chance to cut it to single digits with a deep one here. Larson now through the top of the circle. Back out to Woodward. It's a ball screen, shoots over the screen. Woodward hits the three-pointer. It's a nine-point game. Sammy Woodward with 19 tonight makes it a 57-48 ball game. 4.35 to play. North Park will get a timeout here. Timeout Vikings. Reds have come back. 6-0 run here. They've cut it down to 9. 57-48 with 4.34 to play. Our game tonight brought to you in part by Mason's Eatery and Pub. Hey, don't be a chain eater. Eat at Mason's on Highway 50, west of Green Bay Road. By building waters, plumbing, heating, and cooling. That's what they do. And refrigeration, too. By Francetic Tax Resolution. Don't get frantic. Get Francetic. Go to 262tax.com. Redmond down three with a minute six to go in Chicago against North Park. Double-double tonight for Brad Perry. 13 points, 14 boards tonight for Perry to lead the way for the Redmen. They're down three with just over a minute to go. Those of you watching on the video stream at live.carthage.edu, we've got the game on the insert here. Redmond in some trouble down there. Lady Red's in trouble here. 4.34 to play, down nine. Need a stop, Kashan, Larson, Kalis, Antoine, and Woodward out there for the Lady Reds. Newsom, Pantier, Johnson, Malloy, and Alba Garner. Newsom with it. Working on Kalis. Kalis staying with her. Kalis forcing a low pass at the feet of Johnson. They nearly get the tie up. North Park retains possession here. Alba Garner swings it off. Right corner three. Good. Oh, the Reds got nearly a break there as they almost got the turnover. North Park able to recover and wrap. Able to bury the three out of the right corner. 60-48. 12 point advantage. Woodward again for three. Again gets it. Little jab step three off the right wing. 22 tonight for Sammy Woodward. Again, nine-point game, need a stop. Elba Garner with it, high on the right. Guarded by Woodward, throws it back up top to Rapp. Now to Pantier. Right side it goes again, Newsom driving, got around Kalish to the basket, left it short, rebound Kashan. She'll give it up to Woodward. Big trip here with three and a half minutes to play, down nine. Kalish on the right wing, wants the three. Comes up short, ball to flex off of Kashan, picked up by Rapp. Too quick a shot there. That was a deep three off the right wing for Kalis, who doesn't have her shot tonight. One for seven at the arc. Need another stop here, Pantier up high. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson had it taken away by Woodward on the breakout now, one on two. Woodward coming down the left lane, had it knocked away from behind, and she hits the backboard stanchion. Into that padding, is she okay? Fouled from behind that time. Jayla Johnson picking up her third. That was a dangerous play there. Woodward trying to break out from a double team from midcourt. Johnson tracked her down from behind. Threw her into that padding underneath the basket. So this will put Woodward on the line, shooting two. 22 tonight for Sammy Woodward. Free throw, missing. Not often you'll see that. Sammy, 94% on the season at the line. Her first miss tonight. Second one. Good. One for two that trip. It's an eight-point game with under three minutes to play. 2.55 remaining. 60-52 North Park. Johnson now. Up top to Rapp, and we got a reach foul on Amanda Larson. 
That's her second, first team, or second team foul on the Lady Reds. Team fouls even now at two apiece. Rapp will inbound with 20 on the shot clock to Newsom, back to Rapp. Now to Elba Garner, guarded by Woodward. To Malloy, to Johnson, reversing right side to Newsom. Now back to Malloy. Shot clock down to eight. Elba Garner with it. Pulls it all the way out to the center circle. With three, with two, with one, and we got a what? Mark Rapinski calling a foul here on the Lady Reds. Sammy Woodward. Rapinski was working the sideline in front of the scorer's table. The play was over here to the near side wing. Not his zone, but he called the foul anyways. Another fresh shot clock here, 20. Here's Johnson able to penetrate, count it, and one. Jayla Johnson with 22 tonight. Dove it hard to the basket, and Kashan with the foul. Three-point play upcoming here for Jayla Johnson. Builds the lead back out to 10, chance to make it 11. And she does. 23 tonight, tying Sammy Woodward for game high honors. 2.15 to go, North Park leading by 11. Now Larson around the left side will lay it up. Too strong. Kashan goes back up and draws the foul. Larson did everything right except finish the basket. Kashan able to get that offensive rebound. Couldn't get the stick back to go down, but got the fourth foul on Jayla Johnson here. Team foul now number three, but Kashan will go to the line. Two for two tonight. Eight points for Kelsey Kashan, the Tremper grad. Up and in. Almost a line drive every time she shoots that free throw. It barely gets up over the front of that rim. Left-handed shot, Kelsey Kashan. Hit them both. Again, the Reds have cut it to nine. They got it to within eight. Now they'll full court press here. Elba Gardner able to drive out of traffic. Got it back, double dribble. Oh, nice job by, I think it was Amanda Larson who reached in originally, tried to knock the ball away from Newsom as she made it across midcourt. Newsom gathered in but put it on her hip, then put it back on the floor. 14th turn tonight for North Park. Big possession, under two minutes to play. Still got some time here. Larson high on the right. Double team, looped it back to Antoine. Antoine. Try to lob it into low post to Koshan. It goes out of bounds. Johnson broke it up. Carthage will retain possession with six on the shot clock. I think they're going to reset that shot clock here. I don't think it reset the last time down from uh, that steal. That Larson knocked it away. Showing 26, but I don't think that's right either. Got the tag team down there of Jonesy and Anderson working the book and the clock tonight. Mark Rapinski having a conversation with those fellows down on the scorer's table. They're going to go back now. They're going to talk to Sam Boyle, the sports information Figure out where that possession was, at what time that possession took place. Try and get the time and the shot clock readjusted here. So it'll be 16 on the shot clock here for the Lady Reds. They will inbound left of the basket. Kalish will trigger. Kalish looking to trigger. Fakes to her right, now throws it left side, Woodward. Sammy. Tried to force it inside, got it to Kalish. She's able to lay it up and in, tough pass. Kalish was double teamed. Somehow that ball got in there and Kalish was able to come away with it. And the foul by Larson in the backcourt as she knocked Newsom down. 
That is the fourth foul on the Lady, make it the fifth foul on the Lady Reds. So now we're shooting here for North Park. Third foul on Larson, fifth team foul. So two free throws upcoming for Zakia Newsom with one and a half minutes remaining. Seven point game, putting Newsom at the line. Newsom, 79% at the line this season. That one is short. Her first trip to the line tonight, 0 for 1 now. Still life here for the Lady Reds. Missed them both. Larson got the rebound. 128 to play. Carthage down 7. Kalis gets it to Destiny Antoine back to the near side Larson up top to Woodward Sammy working on Rapp driving on Rapp goes to the basket laid it short ball tapped around picked back up by Kalis shot blocked from behind Kalis got it back and was fouled Elba Garner that time with the foul that's the fourth team foul on North Park so not shooting yet Carthage ball, shot clock reset to 20. Kalis to inbound left of the basket. Get it into Woodward. Woodward out of the left corner. Shoots over Kashan. Crawls off the rim, no good. Malloy with the rebound. She'll get it out to Rapp. She'll pull up, wait for traffic to clear. 52 seconds to play. Need a stop or a foul here, and they'll get the foul. Kalis commits the foul. That'll put Rapp at the line, shooting two. Jackie Rapp in her ninth game of the season. For the year, just five of eight at the line. Her first trip to the line tonight. In and out and rolls in. Circled the drain and fell through that time. Still remaining a three possession game here. Second one, dances off the rim. Kashan got the rebound. Nice box out on Somerville. Carthage with only one timeout left. Going to play through here. 43 seconds to go. Woodward between the circles. Kick over to Kalis, and we got an offensive foul called on Kashan. They call her for the block underneath. Called her for a shove. Tim Bernero did not like that call. Turns it back over to North Park, and that should do it here for the Vikings, leading by eight. Carthage is going to be forced to foul again here. Get it to Newsom. Now to wrap. Ball kicked by Larson at midcourt. Vikings will keep possession in the backcourt. The Reds have just struggled offensively here in their last three ball games. They get it into Jayla Johnson. Back to Alba Garner across midcourt. Kick to Newsom. 28 seconds to play. Newsom just playing keep away here. Call the foul underneath. Malloy getting fouled by Destiny Antoine. Newsom makes the free throw. It's over in Chicago. North Park picks up their first conference win of the year over the Redmen tonight, 72-68. Just their third conference win, or third win of the season. So it'll be a sweep tonight for North Park. 66-56 Vikings here. They take down the Redmen down in Chicago as well. Kalis for three, got it. First three-pointer of the night for Autumn Kalis. Make it her second. 59-66, Pantier, right block, back up on top. Final 10 seconds here. Reds won't foul. The Vikings go to 7-1 in conference play and dump the Lady Reds tonight. 66-59, your final. They end a six-game losing skid to the Lady Reds in the process here tonight. Nicely done by the North Park Vikings tonight, 66-59 over the Lady Reds.
They go to 7-1 and one in conference play, 14-3 and three overall. The Reds now, they have dropped their fourth straight ball game. And they fall to 3-5 and five on the year. They slip under the 500 mark, 8-9 and nine on the season. We'll step out, take a two-minute break. Back to recap this one from the Tarbell Arena and visit with head coach Tim Bernero following this two-minute timeout. This is Lady Red Basketball on AM 1050. WLIP. Thank you, sir. John Weiser back with you at the Tarbell Arena where tonight the Lady Reds drop their fourth consecutive game falling to North Park tonight by a final of 66 to 59. Reds led after one quarter here tonight 17-13 but the wheels fell off in the second and third quarters here tonight. Carthage in that second quarter went just two for nine scored just 10 points got outscored 16 to 10 coughed up a six-point lead, turned into a six-point deficit. They were able to trim it to two at the break, 29-27. Those shooting doldrums continued in the third quarter. The Reds started that third quarter 0 for their first three and uh, got outscored 24-13 in the third quarter, really the true turning point of that ball game. The uh, Vikings just got way too many easy looks, going 10 of 14 in that third quarter, 71% shooting in that third quarter outscoring the Reds 24-13 and really put that game out of reach. Reds were able to climb back into this one here late, cut it to eight a couple of times, but uh, and, and seven the final margin thanks to a three-point basket by Autumn Kalis here late, but uh, Reds just did not have an answer tonight, got away from some of the things that were working in the first quarter. North Park was able to readjust, make some adjustments, and... Uh, Got it working offensively as they got 23 for Jayla Johnson tonight on 10 of 20 shooting. She led across the board tonight. Johnson's line, 23 points, 10 for 20 from the field, 3 for 3 at the line, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals for Jayla Johnson tonight. That's why I said she is a leading candidate for Women Player of the Year in the CCIW this season. Meanwhile, for the Lady Reds, they put three players in double figures tonight. Sammy Woodward with 23, 8 of 18 shooting, 4 of 10 from the arc, and 3 of 4 at the line for Woodward tonight. Autumn Kalish had 12. It just was not her night tonight. She got dinged up early in the first quarter, had an ankle injury of uh, some sort, uh, came down, landed on someone's foot, turned an ankle, got it fixed up, but uh, just wasn't the same tonight. 
as uh, Kalis, just two for nine from the arc tonight, finished the game with 12 points on four of 14 shooting. Kelsey Kashan in double figures tonight. She had a nice night tonight, 10 points, eight rebounds for Kashan, three of six from the field, and four for four at the line for Kelsey Kashan. Lauren Herman with four, Amanda Larson with six, Maggie Berrigan with four tonight for the Lady Reds. For the game tonight, Reds go 19 of 54, just 35%. Their second straight game under 40% shooting. And they go seven of 24 at the arc. Their third straight game shooting 30% or less from the three-point arc. Meanwhile, for North Park tonight, their final numbers, 26 of 54, 48%. That's well over their 41% shooting coming in. The Vikings, 5 of 16 from the arc, 31%, 9 of 12 at the line tonight. Lady Reds out-rebound North Park, 36-30, including 9 on the offensive end for the Lady Reds. Only one offensive rebound in the second half for North Park. They finished the game with three offensive boards. The rebounder tonight for the Reds was Kelsey Kashan with eight, including three on the offensive side. The rebounder, Jayla Johnson for North Park with nine, two on the offensive side for Johnson. Turnovers tonight. In that second half, North Park turned it over nine times for a total of 14. For the Lady Reds, they turned it over nine times for a total of 16. Points in the paint, North Park, too much paint penetration tonight. They outscore the Lady Reds 32, 18 in the paint, 20 to 18 on turnovers tonight. Reds with 10 second chance points to four for North Park. And as we mentioned, fast break points, keep an eye on it tonight. That was another key tonight, transition basketball by North Park, almost to perfection, outscoring the Lady Reds 12-1 in transition. There's only one lead change that came in the middle of the second quarter when the Lady Reds went cold, had a six point lead, turned into a six point deficit, a 14-2 run in that second quarter by North Park. And they prevail here tonight. Take that 14-2 run and hide on the Lady Reds tonight, 66-59. And that ends a six-game losing skid to the Lady Reds. And the Vikings now find themselves alone in first place in the CCIW at 7-1. That's because the Illinois Wesleyan women lost at home tonight to Wheaton by a final of 62-59. Wheaton getting... 15 points from Madsen, another 14 from Hannah Frazier tonight as they uh, knock down the uh, Titans on their home floor, 62-59 in Bloomington tonight. It was uh, Kendall Sosa, three-time conference player of the week this season. She had 23 tonight for Illinois Wesleyan, the only player in double figures as uh, Wheaton only turned the ball over 10 times in that victory on the road. So Wheaton upends Illinois Wesleyan, knocking them from first place tonight. North Central up by five late, 68-63, and that uh, looks like that's gone final over Augustana, 68-63. So North Central now leapfrogs ahead of the Lady Reds. And the other final down in Decatur tonight it was Elmhurst picking up a win on the road over Milliken, 64 to 53. Milliken with only one player in double figures, Jordan Hildebrandt with 10. Meanwhile, Queen Jeanne with 19 for the uh, Blue Jays, who pick up their second conference win of the season. So the new standings tonight in the CCIW following play tonight. North Park at 7-1, your leader alone in first place through the first trip through conference play. Illinois Wesleyan falls to second place at 6-2. Wheaton alone in third place now at 5-3. Then you have Milliken and North Central each at 4-4. Four four. 
Carthage and Augustana at five at three and five, and then Elmhurst and Carroll each at two and six. And right now, by virtue of their win over Augustana, Carthage would have the sixth seed in the women's tournament if that were to start tomorrow. So Lady Reds, after their first trip through the CCIW, find themselves with a three and five conference mark. And they have to get back to work at it in a hurry. Wheaton proving that they can win on the road, going down to Bloomington tonight to knock down Illinois Wesley. And Wheaton in the house here Saturday for a doubleheader against the Carthage teams. It'll be the Lady Reds and Thunder at five o'clock Saturday afternoon. That'll be followed by the Redmen and Thunder at around seven o'clock Saturday night. Hope to see you out here in person. Again, the students still out on break, so J-Term in right now, but uh, plenty of room for you to come on down and take in Carthage basketball here at the beautiful Tarble Arena. Your next opportunity will be Saturday night, a doubleheader wrapping up a three-game homestand for the Lady Reds and the second of three at home for the Redmen. They will be back home a week from Wednesday as well, taking on Carroll University. So Tim Bernero having a long discussion with his Lady Red team. Might as well give you the rundown here. Friday night on live.carthage.edu, it is going to be Redmen Volleyball as the Redmen will take on Wittenberg here in the uh, Tarble Arena. Saturday, it's the Swimming and Diving Wisconsin Private Colleges Championship here at the Aquatic Center, at the Conitzer Aquatic Center here in Carthage. So that'll be a busy men's volleyball as well at 1 o'clock, the Redmen against Illinois Institute of Technology. Then it's basketball, doubleheader, Lady Reds and Redmen taking on Wheaton. So a very, very busy afternoon on Saturday. And, of course, uh, throw in that uh, along with the uh, funeral uh, uh, going on here at Carthage on Saturday for Mr. Ralph Tenuta, who passed away earlier this week. He's the obviously the part of the founding family of the Tenuta uh, delicatessen here in Kenosha. The funeral will be held here at Carthage College. Ralph Tenuta, a longtime board of trustee member here at Carthage College, uh, recipient of the Carthage Flame Award as well. His funeral service will be held here at the Siebert Chapel on the Carthage campus at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. News not much better down in Chicago, where tonight the Carthage Redmen fall at North Park, giving the Vikings their first conference win of the year, 72-68, the final in that one. Tough loss on the road for the Redmen now as they fall to 3-5 and five in conference play. North Park 1-7, just their third victory of the season for the Vikings. They're 3 and 14, but they upend the Redmen tonight despite three players in double figures for the Redmen tonight. Brad Perry, a double-double tonight. 18 points, 14 rebounds for Perry. 15 points for Keenan Baltimore tonight. And 10 for Jordan Kadrowski. But the Redmen fall on the road as they uh, put uh, five players the Vikings do in double figures tonight. Lawrence Pointer with 14. Isaiah Sanders with 14, Toby Merrick with 12, Matt Zuba with 11, and Carl Polk Jr. with 11 as well for the Vikings. And again, they held on a halftime lead and sustained it this time. In the last three ball games, North Park has held a halftime lead on Illinois Wesleyan, Augustana, and Carthage. And this time they pick up the win over the Redmen in Chicago tonight, 72-68. Waiting for Tim Bernero. He now makes his way out of the locker room. We'll be making his way up here to our press box tonight. It gives us a chance to remind you tonight's basketball game on 1050 WLIP brought to you in part by Mason's Eatery and Pub, by Building Waters, Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, by the Francetic Tax Resolution, Luigi's Pizzeria, by Something Different, a sports fan fantasy land, by the Berkshire Hathaway Epic Real Estate Company, by the sinus and snoring md.com that's dr swerdlin by lynch chevrolet of kenosha and by ruffalo's two family restaurant by our friends at lou perini's gas and grocery by wingstop of kenosha and by the vigiano insurance agency steve vigiano insurance agency 
by the SJ Crystals Menswear, by Dickey's Barbecue Pit, by Westosha Sports Complex, and by Triangle Flooring Furniture and Appliance Center. Again, 66-59 the final here tonight. Lady Reds fall to the hands of the North Park Vikings. Vikings now alone in first place in the CCIW with that win here tonight, coupled with the Illinois Wesleyan loss. And uh, Tim Bernero now joins us up here in the press box. And uh, Coach, it's almost like the same old story here. The last three ball games, you just run into that one quarter where you just run into some cold shooting and it just turned the whole game around. This time North Park took advantage of it. Yeah, we're not, we're really struggling offensively to find consistent offense. And when we execute stuff, we get pretty good shots. Right now we're kind of in between because they made some plays to, to make themselves, make each other look good. We had to, we felt like we were making stressful plays all the time. And that's just a, a, felt a function of, you know, the, I asked at halftime, I go, what can we run, you know, you know, philosophically, I asked the kids, what sets can we run with conviction that we can get something? We ran plays, but not with conviction. We got bumped off course. We got pushed out of the post. They didn't. It was, we got, for better or for worse, we got manhandled mm -hmm. a little bit. We got pushed. We got pushed around and didn't have an answer for it. That gets frustrating, too, because uh, normal reaction is you get pushed around. What do you want to do? You're going to get punched in the mouth? you got to punch back. Yeah, and it's, a, you know, I just told him that. I said, you can't go at you know can't don't give me the I'm after the fact you're mad I'm disappointed about it because they came in here with a chip they're feeling really good about themselves and you know strutting around and then they you know we got off to a good start had the lead after the first quarter they had to you know had the punch in the second quarter and then they just ran through us in the third quarter I mean transition we have I can't remember last time we gave up that many transition baskets in a game it was I mean one after another after another so it was it was rough. Yeah, and I, I don't know if it's a product of things not going in on the offensive side, so then you sag a little bit on the other end because you're feeling badly because you're not making baskets on the offensive side. Yeah, I mean, we tried some different stuff. We played them man. We played them zone. You know, I think we kept them off the free throw line by playing them zone. I think Johnson still got access to the ball in the zone, which was yeah. disappointing. I mean, we you know, we tried to keep it away from her, um, but – they, she, they, did, they did a nice job. She moved around and found some openings. And, you know, when she had it, we were, you know, we did a decent job a few times. Other times they went through somebody else, and then she flashed in from the low post or die, dove from the high post and got the ball, and we didn't cover it like we'd, we'd practiced co covering it. I thought the game turned with Patterson coming in that second quarter, went two for three shooting the three ball in that second quarter, and that was their – springboard there to get them that lead again going from a six point lead to a six point deficit with uh, three point baskets as well as the the driving uh, uh, transition buckets right i mean we were able to keep the three point baskets from from 13 and patterson made enough to keep it honest i mean they were you know they they filled out their sheet nicely from the standpoint that johnson did most of the work and they made they complimented newsom made some driving baskets um, and Patterson made enough, a couple threes to kind of give them a little push. Yeah, I noted the, the, the points in the paint tonight, 32-14 getting outscored there, and then the transition buckets 12-1 to in favor of North Park, and that's your, you go deep in the sheet, that's right. what you're going to see. And it felt like, you know, it, it felt like most of those were in the third quarter. They ran out mm -hmm. and got a couple real quick ones in the third quarter and just then took it away from us, and that was, that was really hard. I mean, it was, you, can, you know, usually... You try to start from limiting easy baskets, and we didn't limit easy baskets. They got out and ran up and down, and that got them feeling good and stretched the game from a two-point game at halftime. Now it was th now you're down 13 after three, and you're, you're, you're scrambling. If you want to look for a bright spot, I mean, again, out-rebounded North Park tonight, but you got nine offensive boards. It's just unfortunate we weren't able to do much with it as that led to just 10 second-chance points with those nine offensive boards. Yeah, I mean, we were, you know, we got a couple we got where we just couldn't get out of. We turned a couple offensive rebounds over, which is hard to do sometimes. But, um, yeah, we were, you know, we, we just, from the beginning, we seemed kind of you know, indecisive. You know, we had chances to beat them off the dribble, and we we kind of zigzagged around and, didn't, and shot the ball, you know, you know, again, not with any conviction. Like, I'm not saying, we didn't do like, hey, I'm going to square up, beat this kid off the dribble, and 
lay the ball in the basket, we were kind of, should I go, should I not go, should I? And then other times we, we tried to make plays and they came pretty aggressively to help and we didn't have our head up to find somebody else that was open. So we, you know, we were so in between on that that we didn't make enough good decisions to get the shots we needed. And it's going to get tougher on Saturday. Your opponent coming into this building Saturday just went to Bloomington and knocked off Illinois Wesleyan tonight by a good margin, 62-59, the final down there. Wheaton hanging on to pick up the win, so they get a road win in Bloomington. So they come in feeling pretty good. They know they can win on the road. Yeah, I mean, they're a good basketball team. They're the team that's supposed to win this league in the beginning. They kind of struggled a little bit early, but now they've looks like the last couple of games they found their footing and, you know, now you know we'll have to reorganize and, and get ready for them on on Saturday. It's you know the league the way the league's been. You know, there's no great teams, but there are no bad teams. So you you know they're all tough. I mean, Wheaton's Wheaton's playing really well. You know, we played them a really close game here. Or I'm sorry, there. You know, when we were a little bit shorthanded, and hope hopefully we can you know with having Sammy this time will help us a little bit. But we just got to play better. We've got to play with with more of a uh, a conviction to to stop them and to get our our stuff done on the offensive end and right now we're we're kind of in between offensively and again still a lot of to play for here because when you factor in the top six teams make the conference tournament right now with the way the standings are north park seven one wesleyan six two then you have wheaton and uh, millican uh, wheaton at five three then millican north central four four carthage and augie three five there's still an opportunity to bang out a home game here if you can move up as you say climb that ladder now with the teams that are ahead of you going through the second round of conference play and get the opportunity to perhaps even host a first round game here the Tuesday of the conference tournament. Yeah we're a long way from that right now because just we, we've been out we're on the you know I, I challenged our kids a little bit I said we need to find the team that played at the end of December in the first week or two of first week or so of January the one that had the resilience to win those two games in Nashville. And Nashville and to win the game in double overtime against Augustana and to handle Carroll pretty well here that what we've got right now didn't look like doesn't look like the same team for a number of reasons we're just not you know we're not shooting the ball as well we're not executing our stuff as well we're not executing game plans as well as we did then so we've got you know I challenge them we got to find that group again for by Saturday and or you know with practice tomorrow and Friday they did a number on Autumn tonight, too. They took her away just 12 points tonight. She really wasn't a factor. Two of nine at the arc, four of 14. Took her 14 attempts to get to 12 points tonight. Yeah, I mean, you know, people are going to do that. They have they have really good quickness that they can get under her. And, again, we've got to execute our stuff better to, you know, our, often, our post players have to screen better to get our guard shots, and our guards have to find post players when they're open to get them shots. And right now – we're, you know, everyone's a little bit scrambled trying to, trying to find easier offense, and right now we're, we're making all the offense hard, if that makes any sense. So almost in a sense, going into Saturday's game, this is going to be one of those proverbial Carthage versus Carthage games because it's just trying to find your game and get your game going, yeah. let alone have to worry right. about what Wheaton's doing, but you just got to get right. confidence in doing what you can do on both ends of the floor. Right. I mean, we've gotten people have, you know, have started to, take us uh, take us out of offense we we knew that we're, you know with with some of the si injuries and stuff we've got we've lost people that can score so finding enough points has gotten a little harder we have to do a little better job there and then we have to squeeze it a little bit tighter on the defensive end and figure out ways to win the game well let's get this thing figured out we'll get this ship turned around and uh, we'll get uh, get to Wheaton here with uh, them coming in the building here on Saturday hopefully a nice crowd here that'll help things and uh, get this losing skid behind us and then start building up as you say climb that ladder one rung at a time one at a time you just want to get a chance to play in that tournament and we've got a you know we're putting ourselves in a tough spot three and five the first time through is you know looking up at a lot of stuff and we've got to play at one you know one day to one or two days to get ready for Wheaton on Saturday. So, all right, Mr. 300. <laughs> I don't even want to talk. I about do. That. I do. That's no, the highlight of the week for me so far. You know, so the week, what he's what Tim's referring to last night at uh, Katormson Recreation Center. Yours truly bowling in the league. He's scored his 
third 300 game. So uh, that was kind of fun. Brady Lindsley loved it. We got it on tape. It wasn't we or anything. It was real. It was real live. It was action real live there, so. action. Yeah. How so about that's, that? That's <laughs> impressive. I'm glad somebody had a good day. So um, uh, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate I'm, I'm, you. I'm happy that for up. that. And I, that goes on the list of things. Something I'll never do. But <laughs> But you've done it multiple times, so I'm I'm duly impressed. I'll never dunk a basketball either, <laughs> so there we're even. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, let's go get him on Saturday, huh? All right. Appreciate All right. it. Thanks, Tim Bernero joining us up here. And, again, a reminder, Tim will join Pete and uh, uh, Bill tomorrow morning, 620 tomorrow morning, each and every Thursday morning, Tim Bernero with uh, the guys on the Wake Up Kenosha show. That will be around 620 tomorrow morning. You'll hear more from Coach Bernero. That's going to wrap things up here tonight. A double dip taken by North Park tonight. The women uh, defeat the Lady Reds tonight, 66-59. And in Chicago tonight, it was a 72-68 North Park victory over the Carthage Redmen. So that sets up Saturday's ball game as the Lady Red and Redmen will host a doubleheader against the Wheaton Thunder Saturday afternoon. That's part of a big sports weekend here at Carthage College. Men's volleyball Friday and Saturday. Friday night, the Redmen take on Wittenberg. Saturday afternoon at 1, it'll be Redmen volleyball against Illinois Institute of Technology. Also, we have the Swimming and Diving Championships, the Wisconsin Private Colleges Tournament going on here at the Conitzer Aquatic Center here on campus, and that gets underway at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. And then we have basketball in the evening. It'll be Lady Reds and Redmen taking on the Wheaton Thunder Saturday night. Hope to see you out here in person for those basketball games. If not, you can join us here on 1050 WLIP and on the video stream at live.carthage.edu beginning around 440 Saturday afternoon. My thanks to John Voinovich spinning the dials here at Carthage College, working the video stream. Michael Loves, our executive producer. Mike's been out with a health issue. Mike, I know you're watching and listening tonight. We wish you the very best and hope to get you back out here in short order. We're all thinking about you and uh, get, get well soon and get back out here. We miss you here at the Tarbell Arena. Also, thanks to Scott DeLabio engineering our broadcast back at our Pleasant Prairie studio. Stay tuned. Jim Bohannon Show coming your way next here on AM 1050 WLIP. John Weiser saying good night from the Tarbell Arena where tonight the Lady Reds fall to North Park 66-59. We'll join up with you Saturday afternoon on Kenosha's radio station, AM 1050 WLIP Kenosha. Good night, everyone. <laughs>